what you thought about the game? Uh, you know, we came out strong, 14-0. Uh, and then uh, we just kind of split it a little bit on offense, put the defense out there a little bit. Uh, we just got to learn how to kind of, you know, once we get that lead to really take off and uh, even even make that gap even bigger. So just uh, some execution stuff on the offense. So now you guys, I'm sorry, Jones, Garage Department Media, you guys play in Seattle who, who, where the fans are notorious for crowd noise. How much did the crowd noise and the energy from the crowd affect what you guys were trying to do? Oh, yeah, it was huge. You know, I, I play here at U of H, so I know how it is. Um, this this city is going to get behind the football team no matter who it is. So they were definitely giving us some problems, um, made it really loud for us, had a, had a call a t couple of timeouts. So um, we, were, we were fully expecting that. What did it mean to you to get back in front of this Houston crowd? Oh, it was fun, man. Uh, you know, anytime you can get back to where you played at in college, uh, that's a kind of a special opportunity. You don't get to do that too many times. So it was awesome. You know, we had our, our kids out here. Uh, a lot of our kids out here was able to get on the sideline before the game and, and check it out. So it was pretty fun. And in the second half, you guys seemed to let the offense just kind of sputtered here. Is there something that Houston was doing to take it away from you guys? Uh, you know, I think so. You know, they were they were taking away some stuff that was kind of more so there in the first half. Uh, we just kind of got to get back on film and, and see what we can do. Uh, our first full game uh, with with BJ out there. So you know, I think he definitely gave us a spark. We were rolling. So just kind of looking at the tape and seeing back uh, what is going to be our answer when they take away some of the things that were working early. So. So now what do you go back and say to your teammates to get you guys, you know, you have the second half of the season, y'all are still very much in contention for, for the playoffs. What do you go back and say to your team to get you guys refocused, re, you know, and, and back, back on track? Right. No, I, I, you know, those guys know. Those guys know what it is. Um, we've been in every game. Uh, I think after we get back and look at the film, uh, we can see that a couple things go another way we win this game. And this is, you know, one of the top teams in the league, obviously, they're undefeated. So, you know, there's no there's no down spirits. There's no negativity or anything like that going on in the locker room. We play both teams that we lost to again. So uh, it's just, you know, get back to work when we get to Seattle and come out next week with a win. Now, BJ, you're back in Houston. Uh, first, describe what that felt like to play in front of the Houston crowd one more time. And then tell us how it felt uh, first start and what you guys were able to do in the first half and what adjustments you need to make to make sure that uh, a replica of the second half doesn't happen next week. Uh, I mean, Houston's a great city. You know, I had the opportunity to play with the Texans and uh, to be there, um, you know, and experience a playoff game and the atmosphere and the type of energy this city provides is, is uh, pretty cool. But uh, as for us now, I know with the Seattle Dragons, um, you know, we just got to get back to the drawing board and make sure that we continue to do what we need to do to get better. And, um, you know, our locker room is still together and we're not out of it. Uh, and we believe that. Coach has already said you're the quarterback going forward here. What does that mean to know you got that uh, confidence from your head coach? Uh, you know, it's a blessing. You know, I've always, you know, wanted to have the opportunity to uh, start and play a uh, quarterback on the professional level. Um, you know, I've spent some time in the NFL, but to uh, hear that from Coach Zorn, uh, who, who's a legend in Seattle, uh, means a lot. Anybody else? BJ, what were they doing in the second half? They kind of, you guys had those four drive stall at the end there just what was Houston doing that you're seeing different after everything kind of was clicking you guys were getting everything going in the first half yeah uh you know I, I feel like you know as an offense we should take ownership of uh, what we need to do to, to to get better so um you know hats off to Houston a uh, great football team but uh, I still believe that there's some things that we left on the table that we need to you know take advantage of so now you guys went away from the run uh, and coach said more more or less because of the lead in in uh, after the the third quarter. How much of that was uh, calls or adjustments made at the line, and how much of it is just simply uh, you, you, you go back to the film and decide what to do with that next week? Um, yeah, uh, you know, we, 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 we try to do what we can, uh, try to take advantage of the defense to take what they give us, um, you know, not try to do too much because, you know, it is a game of inches, so the more you can do each play, uh, the further you can get down the field, the you know, more your chances are of scoring. So, um, you know, the, the defense switches up things. They make adjustments, um, you know, in the second half, and uh, we're gonna, we have to make adjustments as well. So how different, different was this team compared to every other team that you guys have played this season? 
Uh, you know, they were out there uh, move, flying around on defense. Uh, our defense came out with a strong first half in and, and, and the first quarter, and we got up 14 nothing. And I think, you know, a team that's 4-0, you got to know that they're going to come back fighting, and it's never going to be over. So uh, hats off to them. They played they play their tails off, and, you know, we expected that coming in. And now it's just about cleaning up the little things. Follow the Garage Apartment on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Brand new tweets, photos, videos, videos. Let me show you something real quick. Follow me on social media. And subscribe to the Garage Apartment Radio on YouTube.